Everyone, it is so good to see you. Welcome to Crempty News at Noon. I'm Laura Papetti, and we begin with this story coming in new at noon. We are learning that just before 1.30 this morning, a car drove through a wall at the Spokane Valley Mall. Take a look at these photos. They came to us from the Spokane Valley Fire Department, and you can see the car has really almost made it all the way into the JCPenney store. Thankfully, you can see the car there. It is actually, it looks like in that photo, it is in the store, the JCPenney store. Uh, and, and officials tell us, thankfully, no one was in the store at the time, and the driver was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police believe the driver was in crisis at the time. All right, it is one minute past noon right now, so let's talk about weather. Uh, I think we can all agree it was a little bit chilly out there this morning, at least compared to what we've had. Uh, but by the end of the week, Thomas, I know we're getting into the 90s in time for Labor Day. So uh, what do you know about this afternoon? Oh, yeah, and those 90s are going to come in several days, not just for one day, one summer like day upcoming. As for today, it just feels amazing with that sunshine. But I'm with you, Laura. It was chilly this morning. Everyone had lows down into the 40s, ranging between about 42 and 48 degrees. But right now, warming nicely, lagging a little bit farther behind over North Idaho because the cloud cover still a little bit more persistent. Here's that storm system from yesterday that brought the winds, some of the blowing dust, and just some leftover clouds, especially again over North Idaho. So temperatures might remain into the upper 60s or low 70s today, but a lot more sunshine the farther west you go, including here in Spokane. And that's why our temperatures are warming comfortably so today. But for the Labor Day weekend ahead, it is going to be outright hot outside, not just one day in the 90s. I'm forecasting four days at 90 or above heading into the weekend, including for this Sunday. Check out the forecast high temperatures on the day before Labor Day. And there's at least one and two locations at 100 degrees. This is September 1st, by the way. Yeah, this is going to be very close, if not at record high temperatures during the mid of the Labor Day weekend. So coming up, we'll show you where that record stands and the weather pattern responsible for this late surge of summer heat. All right, my friend, thank you. And speaking of weather, uh, might be a nice day to head outside. Look at that. Take a live look downtown at uh, pick out in the park. It's returning for another year today. Again, a live look where vendors, booths, and food trucks are waiting to sell you every kind of cuisine you can imagine. This will actually be the 43rd time Pig Out in the Park has been held in downtown Spokane. Organizers say it is the perfect way to spend Labor Day weekend. This year's event will feature more than 80 concerts from national and local artists, 40 food booths, and more than 200 different menu items. Bill Burke started the festival more than four decades ago. He says he can't wait to see people's excitement and energy for one last hurrah for the summer. This is a place to come whether you're single or married, uh, you got eight kids or five kids, this is the place to come to. And, and we chose this week on, on purpose. This is summer's coming to an end. Let's get together one more time and celebrate how lucky we are. By the way, Pig Out is open right now and it runs through Labor Day. Lots of fun. All right, today a new portrait of Spokane's first and only black mayor will be unveiled at City Hall. Creme 2's Brandon T. Jones has spent some time researching Mayor Jim Chase and the impact he's had on Spokane. Well, Mayor Jim Chase served in the city's highest office over 40 years ago, and the legacy and impact he left behind can still be found here in Spokane today. We're talking about Chase Middle School, the Chase Youth Commission, and of course the Chase Gallery, where that unveiling for the portrait ceremony will take place today. Council President Betsy Wilkerson and Spokane Arts will hold the unveiling ceremony. Mayor Chase was elected back in 1981 with a whopping 62% margin of victory. He proved to be a popular mayor and even instituted programs like the 1% for Art, which not only put art in city buildings, but lives on in the Chase Art Gallery. We had a story run on Mayor Chase earlier this year. It's about six minutes long and you can find the full video on Crim2+. Plus. You can also text us the word mayor and we'll send a link to the full story on crim.com. His portrait ceremony will begin at 3.30 p.m. and last until about 5 p.m. All are welcome to attend. But for now, reporting here in downtown Spokane, Brandon T. Jones, Crimson News.
look. You may have seen these patrol cars in different areas of Spokane County with lots of high tech gear on top. And many people have asked, what are they, myself included? Uh, Crime News Amanda Rowley asked the Spokane County Sheriff what they're being used for. These Spokane County patrol cars are starting to catch people's attention, mostly because of the cameras mounted on top. They're not Google Earth cars, so what do they do? Well, they're mobile camera systems that help deter crime across the county and save taxpayer dollars. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office has found a way to get more eyes on the streets but they're not uniformed eyes. It's a retired vehicle that, that isn't being used in patrol anymore. And they're watching 24 hours a day. A mobile camera system mounted on top uses multiple eyes to keep watch of the neighborhood they're stationed in. The solar technology allows them to remain in the field for about 40 days, while the camera feeds are monitored here when needed at the county's real-time crime center. It allows us to, you know, potentially collect evidence in high crime areas. It allows us to use ALPR technology to help us solve crimes. Sheriff John Knowles is talking about automated license plate readers. It's a system that alerts law enforcement of vehicles of interest. It's like having a cop sitting on the street corner that recognizes every car that goes by but has a perfect memory of every stolen vehicle or every vehicle of interest in their brain and can automatically pick it out and identify it. In May, the ALPR system helped deputies track down a burglary suspect. Investigators identified the suspect car as a gray Porsche, and the owner was a 15-time convicted felon. The system spotted the Porsche in Liberty Lake and alerted deputies. Then they searched the area and arrested the suspect during a traffic stop. The same system helped Spokane police locate a suspect in a June drive-by shooting. It is really helping us have a significant impact on not only violent crime cases, but also in vehicle theft cases. This parking lot is being recorded. The mobile camera system is similar to these trailers, which run about $80,000 a piece. But some resourceful staff in the sheriff's office found a way to build the same setup for only $15,000. That's got to make some taxpayer ears perk up. It is, and, and I'm so proud of the employees who put that together, who took the initiative and said, we think we can do this. The sheriff says it all adds up to more eyes on the street to help prevent crime. The sheriff's office currently has two of these mobile camera systems deployed across the county. They expect to have two more in the near future. Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.